This is a review of these Harbor Freight hacksaw blades. These uh, five dollar or so for fifty of them. I'm also going to give you a few tips to make it a lot easier if you're using a hacksaw. Most blades break because of under tension or over tension. Once you tension it up about, so you can hear it kind of resonate throughout the frame. Then your tension is about right. As you begin cutting through the material and it starts like uh, so it's kind of binding because the tension's not high enough, kind of bends. Then you can adjust by adding a little bit more, but don't don't go too far. Uh, let's see what else. Ah, myth that unfortunately popular myth that if you run the saw backwards, it'll damage the teeth. As long as you're not pushing down on the saw when you're cutting, you're not going to damage the teeth. Also, you should never push down on the saw because it binds and it just makes you have to do a hell of a lot more work. I'm going to be cutting through this nice, big, beefy piece of steel here. If you're trying to cut through a bolt, make sure it's a grade 3 and not a grade 5 or 8. Grade 3 is unhardened. 5 and 8 are hardened, 8 being a really tough alloy and hardened. So you're going to have a very hard time cutting through it with either a bimetal, these are high carbon, or a high carbon steel blade. Simply because bimetal, it's still steel. Even though it's a harder steel sandwich in between two softer steels, it's... If you're cutting steel with carbide, that's different, but if you're cutting steel with steel, you're going to have a hard time. It's hardened anyway. And of course, when you're cutting, obviously try to cut as straight as possible, don't force it, get your, get your shoulder in line with it and whatnot. When you're cutting steel or really anything with a tensioned blade, don't be rushing. It's not a sprint, it's a marathon. If you rush, you're going to end up causing the blade to kind of wobble, bind in the hole, and it'll just make a lot more work for you. And a uh, great little trick if you're cutting a uh, thick piece of steel, you don't really need to on thin pieces, but on aluminum and brass, a little W40 on each side of the blade every now and then helps, uh, helps quite a bit. And if you notice, when I'm cutting, I'm changing my angles, so the area that's cut doesn't, this cutting isn't getting too wide and it's not able to clear the chips out of the gullets of the teeth is, uh, easily. So keep changing your angle and go a lot faster. <laughs> Did not watch how far I was down, how far I was through that steel. If you watch this far through, thanks a bunch. Got one final tip for you. Very common mistake here. Not untensioning your blade for storage. Stretches out the blade, makes it weak, and when you go to retension it, when you go to use it next time, it may just snap on you. Or it might snap easily, easily anyway. So yeah, don't, you don't need to take all the tension off, but enough so it's a little, little loose but doesn't fall off. And as far as the blade still remaining sharp, I'm not going to be able to see it on a camera. Maybe I can do an overlay an image in the video for you.